Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Monday, guys. Uh, I hope you're having a very great, great morning. And uh, the best thing that you can do before you even start to trade, uh, just know that it's going to be a very great day and it's going to be a winning streak. Once you go with that mindset, it means you're not going to take the shortcuts. You need to go through this, this process of analyzing. Uh, I think maybe you're already good with your risk management and stuff like this. You know, in this game, we always learn, guys. There is no such thing uh, that I, I already know everything. So every day is like a, a process. We, we go through these things every day, you see. So please, please, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Like, share with your friends. And if you want the system, if you want the system, Signal system is only $20. If you want to join VIP Signals, it's also $20. If you want the mentorship, it's also $20. I hope you understand that. I hope that is loud and clear. So let's go straight to our analysis. I hope this thing is not going to cover the most important information right so what i see is uh, we are on us uh, on us oil or you can see whatever there on the screen it's us oil so what do we see here I, i'm on a four hour time frame firstly what i see is we are on a an uptrend do you see that we are we are on an uptrend so this is what i've drawn yesterday actually I can just place it something like this. So why I don't something like that? Let me remove that. If you did watch my previous video, especially yesterday, you will understand what I'm talking about here. So once the market did touch, you can see the market was like really up here. Then the market did come down around this area. And this was the support area. Then the market started changing the direction, moving to the upside. But to, the, that, to that upside, actually, it means the market is taking what? It's now creating an uptrend. But mostly on an uptrend, it doesn't mean that the market will come back and respect this uh, support area like as perfect as we can. We all, like most videos, when they show you about uptrend, they will show you something like this. And most of the time, the market doesn't play like that. The market doesn't play games. The market won't just create that perfect structure every day. So sometimes the market will create those moves that will confuse most of us. So we now, we learn, we learn about those things because we see that every day. So what do we see here is, what I see is, the market is now on a very strong bullish momentum. That's why the market won't just come here easily. The market might continue creating uh, something like this until maybe some a few weeks, whatever, or even a month. Maybe the market might come here or maybe the market will never come back there. You see. So what do we see as, as a trader? How can we, 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 we capitalize on something like this? You can see it's not a perfect uh uptrend it's not where you can say i will draw the lines something like this no it's not like that so what you can do is you have to use your skills and now you apply those uh, uptrend sorry uh, support and resistant uh, lines we are on an uptrend i hope you can see this sorry i hope you can see this we are on an uptrend but we still have those support and resistance along the way. You can see, you can start from this area and go to your left. You can see that, oh, the market is actually uh, created this sort of a resistance. After the market break, breaks that area, it will come back and respect that area and start to move up again and create similar moves. So let me just draw before I talk. Uh, you can see this area it's another area where we can see the market created something do you see this i see this uh let me yeah i see that i also see something like this i think yesterday we were here exactly where i'm drawing at the moment so what i see is this thing can continue like this for some time now before we even see the market coming back to 
to this uh, support or oh, you see so let me show you what is really happening here so the market is breaking these areas it's firstly it broke this area once it broke that area it came back again to respect that area after the market created this resistance you can see that the market pushed up then came back again you can see when the market is pushing up again came back and respect the previous high so it means the market might create something like do you see this I know I'm not matching. Let me just match these candlesticks because you will see why you draw your own thing. You, do you see this? The market might create something like this. Something like this. Do you see that? Going up like that. So when you try to draw your usual uh, trends lines, uh, just know that it's not going to work. And if maybe you're waiting only for the market to touch this area, the market you will just wait the whole month then because the market won't come there very easily but if you know these things you will capitalize on that because now we know that oh the, as long as we are on an uptrend if the market is creating this resistant there is possibility that the market will come back respect that and we're going to buy from there then the market is going to push up once it pushes up we know that the market might come down those are called higher lows higher lows, something like this most of you, when you start uh, trading these things, it's, it's too much on the market on YouTube. They will tell you higher lows, higher highs, stuff like that. They even confuse you, but they won't tell you what it really is. But now I'm telling you how to understand those things. So these things means that the market is pushing up and reversing. Many people, they take profits. Once it reverses, it's still on a very nice bullish momentum. People, they see, oh, this is a nice price again. They buy again and it pushes up. That's why we see the market doing something like that. So what can we do? I think around this area, it's another area to buy US oil. I think it can still push up again. Why? We are still on an uptrend. I don't see any sell uh, momentum or sell any sell position around those areas. I hope you can see that and I hope you understand that. So let's move to the next one, which is uh, gold. I think it's gold, yeah. I think my network today is a bit slower. Once it's still loading like that, please smash that subscribe button. Smash it. Just smash it. Uh, let's let's reach 2K, guys. Before month end, let's uh, let's reach uh, 2,000 subscribers. Uh, uh, let's see. So we are on 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 gold, guys. We are on gold. So what do we see here guys for more information if maybe you don't really understand what's really happening here uh, what you can do is go back watch my previous videos because i can't explain one thing every day so i need to move forward right so we are on an uptrend you can see that we drawn from this area we go in we go in now we're here now we are here guys we started from the bottom now we are here so what we see is uh the market is still respecting this uptrend and you can see the market is still here it means around this area is still a very nice very 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 nice uh, area to do what to buy just to buy guys it's very nice area to buy actually uh, if you missed it here i think this was like really early in the morning so i think the market might create something like that uh, going further unless if the market is going to break this support area uh, we can see the market maybe is going to at the lower side which is going to be like a sell or short positions only but remember uh, when you trade gold uh, you should remember that uh, the, this thing can create some fake breakouts and once you sell it will just come back very very quick so be careful with that be careful with that but at the moment especially at the moment since the market is still moving above our support area we still going to do it to buy only yes sometimes we might take the losses but the losses are very 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 small why especially when we respect uh, our trends we respect trends and we go with trends i hope you understand that i hope you understand that so let's move to the next one because uh, time is money time is money and i hope you understand that nicely if you want 
the signal system, there's something that is going to start this year uh, with you nicely, with enough signals. Uh, you can just talk to me. Uh, I have a very, very powerful system, uh, which is only $20. Then if you, do, you can't afford or if you don't want to improve your trading and you're still not making money, uh, I think then it's your fault. There are so much uh, tools out there just to help you, even if maybe you don't buy mine. But there's so many tools out there. But people, they, do, they just want to make it in this market. And guess what? They don't want to invest. This is like a university, guys. At university, you have to buy textbooks, all those tools to make it. But people, they just come here in, or, or like in, in this financial market or Forex. So they just want to get free information from YouTube. They can't even buy a system. They can't, $20 only. They can't buy that. They can't buy a course. They can't buy, not only from me, from those different people. Because those guys, those who call themselves mentors, I think uh, they've been in the game. Uh, they are not perfect, obviously, but they have something maybe that you don't know. It's better to have mentors. You can have different mentors. What I know is you're going to learn something from there. Whether they are fake, whether they're right, but whatever, whether they are wrong, but what I know is you're going to learn something from them. So don't act like you will just figure things out by yourself. Yes, even like there is even Bill Gates, guys. They those guys they have mentors. They everyone have those things. So if you think you are too smart, then you're just wasting money. You're going to donate money because this thing like this bigger. This thing is the biggest market. Uh, so don't just think you will just jump in this thing and make it. While it's the biggest, you see. Even if you're a doctor, you can just jump in Forex and start to think maybe just because you have a dog trait and stuff like that. No, we don't work. Like, this doesn't work like that, you see. So, we are on German 30 or you can just call it German 40 if you want. What do we see? Simple. We see that the market is not like really uptrendy. You can see when we go back. Let me use this. It's a, it's a daily time frame because I can see, I don't know what's really happening today. The candlesticks, they are so small. Yeah, you can see that. So we are not really uptrending or downtrending. What I see is, let me take this little bit lower. I can see I'm cutting so many candlesticks. So with this type of move, you can see actually the market is just moving around. We can just call this it's a ranging but not that really bad because this is happening on a bigger time frame but it seems like we reached a, a another high here why we see the market respecting this area and pushing lower this is a daily time frame guys that means it's like so many candlesticks if maybe we go to an hour time frame so it means the market is respecting this uh, area you can see let me zoom that you can see that the candlestick they just run away from the resistant just look what happened just look what happened here the market just touched this area then just escaped from there so i don't expect anyone to buy from this area guys i think this thing can really sell this thing can really sell from this area but yes anything is possible guys i can say maybe this thing i might go down but as long as with the analysis i see that this thing is like on the highest uh, we are very very close to the resistance so we can't just buy very close to the resistance unless if the market is going to come here uh, sorry unless if the market is going to come around this resistance break that and we can say after the breakout we can take uh we can just we can start to look for those buy positions so let's go to, uh, to a bit smaller time frame which is a four hour it's not really small but at least we can see uh, on a bigger picture or i mean on a bit different picture uh, from uh, one hour so if we try to draw if we try to draw the resistant or support line like this you can see that actually we can say something like this no that won't make sense obviously so we see that the market is actually doing what the market is respecting respecting this area now the market is pushing lower so during the day we can expect the market to push lower obviously so expect sell positions on german 30 or german 40 so i don't expect any buy position from there please 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 
If you find this information very useful, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Plus, you can e even watch those uh, ads. You see the adverts that they show uh, while I'm, I'm, I'm analyzing because they can add something on my account since I'm monetized. When you see those uh, adverts, you can just wait 30 seconds. It's not that long. Then you know that the brother is eating. The brother has to eat with those adverts, right? Uh, since you don't pay me uh, to, to watch the video, it's, it's the truth, guys. So we're not going to be like, I'm not going to say, you know, I know you're not babies. I think you understand. You're not going to get like hurt whatever with whatever that I'm saying. So you're not going to cry over whatever that I'm saying and say, oh, now Kenzo want us to watch the the adverts. No, it's the real truth. It's, it's true. It's truth, guys. So now we are on your estate. What do we see on your estate, guys? Firstly, you know what I love uh, about the market? Actually, it, it has to talk to you uh, before you start to do the analysis. Firstly, what do we see? We see that uh, we are on, 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 on an uptrend. Sorry, there is a phone call. So we are on, on, on an uptrend, right? So on this uptrend, we see that the market is pushing higher and we have something here as a resistant do you see this area this area it was sort of a resistant and we can draw up to there then we see the market broke that came back a little bit came twice then here we are again and we see that actually the market did not break that do you see that let me clear that let me zoom maybe you will see what i'm uh, what i'm really trying to show you here let me remove this so that you can see look at this look at these areas and push to the to your right you will see that oh this thing it might be respecting this area but you can make this thing as a zone something like that you can see that oh actually the market did not really break our resistance there is a possibility that the market can still push higher even though we know that we still have this support area the market might come around this area and push higher something like that do you see that i hope you see that so it means can you say now the market is selling off yes the market did sell off but we reached a level here which we might say that might start to be the support area since this was a resistance now might be that thing can be this area might turn into be a support area you see but the best thing that you can do is wait a little bit and see if the market is trying to push a little bit higher if it does then it's where you can jump on the market or let me just show you how i will do it on a bit smaller time frame let's go on an hour on an hour time frame let's go my network is very slow today or maybe i did not restart my pc i think it's been like sleep the whole night so the ram memory i think is full that's why it's a bit slower so remember we have this support here we can try to draw something like this here and say you know what since this uh, this candlesticks connect you can see that we can even maybe if you want to confirm you can even draw the other ones from the bottom i think they all do something like that so if you see something like this you can see oh now we have the two things actually the market might come here respect this area and push lower so but we have this support area if it's broken it's where we can say you know what this thing is going to sell until maybe uh around the support area around thirty five thousand seven hundred around there somewhere here so but since we are on this support area for us to buy don't jump in the market and say oh we are on 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 support area we're supposed to buy no we see that the market is actually pushing lower for us to buy let's wait for the market to break out of this resistant area as we see that our candlesticks don't, don't break this area so what we can do is draw that after the market is moving out of that it's where you can just jump on the market but wait for the a, a candlestick to close first 
or maybe you can wait for a retest maybe that will happen but mostly it doesn't happen then the market might push up because once it breaks this resistant line it shows you that you know what now i'm no longer following this downtrend you see now i'm changing the direction you should follow stuff like that so i think here we have two options i can't say it's a buy it's a sell no we just wait for the market to break this or if it keeps going lower we'll see that oh now the market is selling or the market might keep playing around here because this might act also as a wedge if i remove this if i remove this this is actually a wedge i don't i i i hope you know what it's a wedge something like a triangle guys you see so the market is actually squeezing up here so we'll see if the market is going to push up uh, or maybe the market is going to push lower i hope you understand i hope you understand so uh let's push let's push to the next one the one and only nasdaq 100 guys i only trade nasdaq uh, especially this year until december until december i'll be trading only nasdaq so when you do this analysis it doesn't mean that you have to trade everything that you see or everything that comes in your way uh, you have to be smart about this or if you are not smart enough the market will make sure that you become smart so uh, let's push to a four hour time frame my network is a bit slower guys i think i have to restart this so here here we are early in the morning i did send the signals uh, to my group so what do we see here we see that uh, we are on a b uh, on we already actually we reach a, a support area let me remove this uh, so that you can see you see this area is a support area this area is a support area and even this one here it's also a support area so let me show you maybe on a b but if you did not watch this maybe my previous video please go back watch it's loading very slow Go back and watch my previous video guys this thing is loading very very slow so if you go back you will see that oh these things they really connect let me just show you i hope oh let me i think it's fine guys my network is bit was very 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 slow i don't know what's really happening so let me just do this and just show you what's really happening at the moment so what it's happening at the moment is let me remove these things out of your sight so that you don't get confused so the market was just pushing lower and lower but we reached an area which seems to be a support area do you see that this is a zone where we can say the market might respect and another thing is if you check this support here it was very 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 close so it means yes the market might push higher but we need to be sure i understand that maybe here the market touched to push up the market touched here and then push up even here the market might do the same thing but we need to be careful we need to be careful because the market doesn't sometimes the market can do its own thing so for us to be safe uh, we need to go really like really really close let's start with a two hour time frame maybe we'll see what's really happening because i think there is a small downtrend there uh, which might make a very uh, our job very very difficult if we just jump on the market remember we have something like this i don't see that at the moment but i see something like this do you see that so the market has been respecting that triangle for some time or a wedge so let's go to a bit smaller again like one hour I want you to see what I saw. Maybe you will understand that very nicely. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, it's something like that. So, but even here we also have something. We have something like this. But it's not really that strong, obviously. But what I see is if you already understand this, the market respected this area, the market respected this area, came back again, broke. Now the market is respecting that area. If you draw this thing, you can see that the market is actually creating something, which means the market might go lower, do something like that, if the market is going to go low. But at the moment, uh, I think maybe the market might break this area. 
maybe i don't know if this area is going to be respected why maybe i say this thing might push up because the market has been selling for some time now so i think maybe the market might try to change that uh maybe let's see something again maybe we can even try to draw something like this and say you know what maybe if the market is creating you see that that might also make sense you see so it means if it's like that the market it was like on a wedge you see so which means the market might respect this area come back here or maybe we might see the market break in this area and going up straight i hope you understand that why because we have two double uh, or we can say double support area which the market might respect and since the market is going lower i don't think the market will just continue doing that the whole day but be careful because anything can happen the market can still push lower we don't know the market can still push up still we don't know but our our analysis says uh, since the market is been like really really pushing lower for some time we think that or i think that the market might push up uh, at the moment i hope you understand that guys and please don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you want to be uh, in my vip signals it's only 20 dollars whatsapp me or check my my intro you will see my contact and if you want the system which is only 20 dollars and it's very powerful you can also just whatsapp me this is kenzo extra hot forex power Bye, guys. Bye.